Empire. Um, just want to welcome you back to practice and say that we are open, but things are a little different. Um, but it's still us underneath. Uh, so <laughs> so um, you might find that the door's a bit different. So please, please don't come to the surgery. If you need to drop off any prescriptions or request medications or want to speak to somebody, you need to do that online or you can, um, um, you can uh, call us or if, if you do get to the door, you need to press uh, this button here, there's an intercom connected to the surgery. Um, if you have symptoms of coronavirus and you shouldn't be in the house, you should call 111. Oh, there's a bit of building work going on here. Kind of here. So, it looks, so it looks like things are starting to get back to normal. And um, we are too, but it is a little bit um, so, so, unless you have an appointment, do not come here. And if you do, then the advice at the moment is a bit like Transport for London, where they say you have to wear a mask. That's for your safety, for our safety, and the safety of other patients. So, unless you have a mask, we won't be able to let you come in. Right, let's go inside and see what it's like. So, when you come in, you'll find that there are some uh, yellow dots. So those are the areas, two metres apart, that you can stand. And we can, despite this being a big old uh, waiting room, we only have space for eight patients. So beyond that, you have, we'll have to send you a message when your appointment is. If you, uh, we can only accommodate eight patients here. So. Uh, Please do not come to your appointments early um, because that causes congestion and um, we will uh, do not bring, try to come alone if you can. Um, if you need to bring a carer then that's fine. Uh, children, only one parent with a child. Uh, so we want to minimise the number of people in the waiting room. If you have a sample that you need to drop off, you needn't come any further than this box here. So you can just leave your samples there. We normally give them to you with labels and, and um, so that's for stool, urine, other samples. We've got hand sanitizers here. We've got some, some um, posters on the how to wash your hands over there as well. So if you come through to the check-in screen, you can see that this is the check-in screen. Please check yourself in using this. That's available in different languages. And whilst you're waiting, you shouldn't be waiting for very long. Uh, you can watch one of our YouTube videos. This is uh, one uh, from uh, the Royal Horticultural Society uh, about gardening. We'll be doing more gardening things. Um, you might notice some things are different. Um, so we clean the screens regularly and we keep the uh, hand sanitizers updated. There are no practice, no patient leaflets anymore. All of that is available online now. And again, you can see that where you can and can't sit. So obviously don't sit in the places where it says that you can't, you can't sit. Right, so if you come through over here, we operate a, a one-way system for this corridor. So if you come through, uh, the person leaving the practice has the right of way. So if the person's leaving the practice, then you'll need to step back and allow that person to leave. Um, and uh, the rooms are more or less the same. Uh, let me just use this. Some hand sanitizers there. The rooms are just, just more or less the same. Uh, we, we now have um, webcams that we, we use in all, all the clinical rooms. Uh, you notice that we haven't got a printer that's been taken away because we don't, it's part of our practices work on sustainability with reducing printing. We do have a printer, but we've taken them out of the clinical rooms. You notice that if you need to look in your ears, then um, we've got disposable uh, ear pieces. And then if you see here, we've got disposable mouth pieces if you need to, um, if you come through here, you can see disposable mouth pieces. The thermometers have little probes on the end. Um, and so, Pretty much everything is as it was before, actually. So it's much the same. So everything is disposable. Um, we need a little bit more time between patients to clean the rooms, and also you'll notice that we won't have, we won't be using fans, and 
we'll try to keep the windows open. So uh, this is a little guide which uh, gives you a visual idea of what we're doing with uh, PPE and, and then there are some uh, different types of waste disposal thing. So in a nutshell, we are open, there are lots and lots of services that we can offer you. Probably the best way to get hold of us is using something called messages. If you haven't got an online account then do contact us and let us know and we'll, we'll set one up for you. We're pretty quick with those. We can answer pretty much any query that you have. Um, we're also, for administrative queries, we're, we're just working really hard to allow you to communicate with us through YouTube and, and Twitter. Um, that's coming on board shortly following a survey that we did recently. And, um, and also, finally, you might, when you do come in, you might need to get your temperature measured. So if you do, then um, just to check that everything is okay. So let me check mine. Is that okay? Phew. So uh, we're doing all this for you to keep you safe and, and to keep other patients safe and keep our staff safe. So bear with us and I think we actually can provide an even better service after all this.